Okay, uh, I have never played Unpacking before. I feel like I've heard of it. I think it's a game about moving, which is interesting. I don't know anything else about it, though, so I'm going to boot it up. I just had a capture card flicker, but it, hopefully it was just for booting the game. Let me know if you see any more issues like that. I like the graphics already. Nice and chill. Settings. It's fine. Hey, Private Gable, how you doing? This all looks good. I wonder if this is maybe intended for a mouse and keyboard. I might change those later, depending on how it looks on stream. All right, play. Book belongs to me. Maybe it doesn't like if I use two control methods. I'm going to switch to mouse and keyboard just to make sure. Oh, it was having me pick a book color. Okay, I see. For a save file. Oh, that's cute. I get it. Set things down temporarily. relaxing Simon says dreidel it looks like a procedure that's funny it's very satisfying didn't realize I could stack the books like that that's nice so I'll just temporarily put stuff on the desktop and then move it later Cute. Oh, that's cool. You can do them in different orders if you want. Camera, make some memories. Well, that's cool. Really, really like this game's graphics. It looks great. All the individual sprites are amazing. Do I rotate? There's supposed to be a dedicated button for that. Trolls. Oh, Pocket Pikachu. One of those. Could just also be a regular Tamagotchi. Okay, I guess I was trying to rotate stuff that wasn't rotatable.
Interesting. Seeing some of these things are in an unacceptable location, basically. That's fun. I like that. Where could this go? Interesting. I like that the game is imposing certain ideas of where it wants things to go. That's cool. Also considered unacceptable. space I've got there for that kind of thing. I can zoom out, right? Okay. I can move up and down. The game is extremely cute, though. I'm enjoying it. acceptable. Why do you can put the backpack on the ground? Doesn't give you any guff about that. Certain things that I am allowed to stack to, which is nice. Hey, good enough. I think for future levels, though, I'm intended to. Oh, 1997. Nice. I'm intended to like actually try to make it look nice like the way I would do it instead of just trying to meet the video game goal of putting it in places the game deems acceptable. 2004. Oh, it's all different times you're moving. That's cool. So now we get to see the story of what uh, items I kept, right? That's cool. Seven years later. room was pretty legitimate to what I actually would have had in 1997. The right age for these, this game creator. Really love these graphics. Oh, and there's a bathroom to work on now. Okay, interesting. She get Andrew to play this. Very cool mouse pad. Kept my ruler. I like the fairly accurate size of this room, too.
That's cool. Yeah. Good storytelling. Assume they only kept some of their toys from before. That's nice of them. Can't go on the highest shelf with that. This brush probably needs to go in the bathroom. Oh, and there's the fridge. shoe in there. Okay. Good. Well packs their shoes like that. Monster. Not putting the tower under the desk apparently. about the character. Well, let me hang those, will they? Got a cubby for Andrea's bras. Tends to put everything on the ground. Very acceptable way to live. File organizer. Cool. Bunch of socks. Can't stack the socks? Oh my god. Nonsense. I love that some things are in the wrong boxes. It's fun. Oh, if the bag was out of the way. It does, thank you. I was hoping to put it like over on the right. It's pretty great so far, I'm enjoying it. Clearly need more hangers. I pack some hangers. So many cute socks. Alarm clock. Girl, where are your hangers? What the hell? find them in a completely different room later. Jamma pants. Those just go on the bed, let's be honest. You have too many cute socks. Oh, this, is, this is pretty real. Socks are a very safe gift for Andrea. No matter how many she already has.
Okay, I think this room is about as done as it's gonna get. Let's get the toiletry stuff out of here. Do have a box for the bathroom, towel. Dedicated place to put the soap. Okay, good. Keep saying it, but I really love this game's graphics. Just put that on the floor for now. What you really should do is you should have a little like um, plastic case for a little, little plastic bowl for guests with hygiene supplies on it. Whenever has to ask. All right, so we definitely want the first aid kit to be in there. I guess the rest of this, they're yelling at me. Okay, I can fit that further back. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, at least I can stack the excess to packed toilet paper. Crazy person. I can't, I can't hang it from the... Okay, good. Better let me hang it from the side of the shower. Okay, perfect. A little trash can. Wrong room. All right, I guess I can put the brush and... What's the... Let's, let's go ahead and just move this in the kitchen. That's fine. Probably don't need a mug in the bathroom. Sometimes you pack stuff where it fits. All right, what we got? More mugs. Mug with no handle, okay. This is a really cool game, I dig it. The plate's up somewhere. That's just gonna stay on the, let's just be honest, it's just gonna sit there forever. Thank you. Letting me stack those. I better be able to put the bowls on top of the plates, too. Okay. Gonna move that later. Tall glasses. I'm gonna get a knife block. There's the other boot. I really like that touch of you getting things for the wrong room while you're unpacking. Is this like a carabiner? I can't really make out what that is. You need to have a kitchen junk drawer, right? That's just for like random garbage. Tiny plates. Need to figure out what everything is, and I'll put it all away. The George Foreman. Those were you can have one of those in two thousand four. It sounds right. Oh, that goddamn, damn you, frying pan. Let's go where you're never gonna be used, perfect. Doing ramen and microwavable burritos. Let's 
be real here. Okay. Uh, the shoes gotta go, obviously. The, it's mad about the socks? And about the stuffed animals? Oh, they can go on the bed. No kidding. Okay. I'm going to use one in a while. Not happy with the shoes. Okay. Can use it as like a sock drawer. No. You want me to have a dedicated sock drawer. I'm already impressed that the socks are like neatly folded up like that. This game might actually might not actually be fun for Andrea because I think she enjoys the chaos of just everything being on the ground. Really. That makes sense. Also fine. Surprised you let me get away with that, but okay. Finished making you happy. Think so? All right, what are you mad about in the bathroom? Nailed the bathroom. First try. Okay, clearly there are a lot of problems here. Uh, you can block the door from being opened. Yeah, right. We've got this, Marstead. Wait, absolutely. Wait. First try. Double spoons, huh? Oh, there's like different kinds of spoons. I reject that concept. There was a space for that, okay. Spatula City. Let me put the carabiner in here. I don't think I'm gonna be allowed a junk drawer, unfortunately. Really, they're okay with me putting the toaster all the way up there? How dare you not let me stack? Can I stack the bowls on top of it at least? This person has never moved. <laughs> never lived anywhere in their lives. I love that there are like value judgments in this game. It's the funniest shit to me. <laughs> You're not gonna let me store stuff in the dishwasher? I see how it is, bastards. What if, what if I use this every day? <laughs> I think this game's really cool and I'm having fun with it, but my favorite part of it so far is like <laughs> the mean value judgments the game imposes on you while you're playing. It goes in the below the sink drawer, let's be honest. This thing would realistically be on, it would be the only thing on the counter and everything else would be gathering dust in a box somewhere else. Really? You use oil. I don't think this should go down there, but the game seems to be okay with it. Not yelling at me. That is a nightmarish under the sink. You should not have your sugar and your salt next to your pesticides and extra scotch brights, but you know, whatever. Okay. 
Game's great. At least they let me put the Scotch Bright in the sink, right? That would be very judgmental. I have to cook for myself. Uh oh. Yeah, mood. Two thousand seven. All right. So we're out of school. Oh, a lot more rooms to work with now. Okay. Play this game just to see all the rad sprites. There's tons of really good ones. I love how you had so many action figures and it's pretty much just that one now. That's great. Like a colored pencil set. Rascal. Oh, Munchkin. Yeah. That sounds about right. Fortunate this game... It's probably made by someone who is exactly the same age as me. Or very close. Video game boxes, okay. Capital Azorius. Like a coffee table book, essentially. Like how you start with stuff already here. The roommate stuff, maybe. Action figure. Probably good enough for now. Love the GameCube. Okay. Um, the dining room, I guess. I like the implication that I'm moving in with somebody else here. Now I have to work around their stuff. Let's get my little, little bus. It's a leaning tower of Cheesa. Like a terrarium down there? I can't make out what that is. Kiwi. Bedroom. Well, it's a small enough bedroom, and I assume it's just a roommate. That's what's implied by there being another bed, two other bedrooms that I can't get into. Okay, so I'm living with two other people. Cool, got it. I move that back into the book area.
sexy drawing of a cat person? I don't know if I'm reading that right. What I actually do is get everything out of the boxes as fast as possible. Postcards, looks like. So I got my iPod. Thousand seven tablet. So I got the cool mouse pad, but it's all dirty now. That's cool. Oh, I didn't realize you could put stuff under the pillow. That's cute. Game Boy Advance. Not the SP, so you, good luck seeing that thing. Game Boy Advance games. Single hat. Socks. All right, well, I've learned my lesson. The game really wants me to put socks in a drawer. So fancy. How very posh. Flats, boots. Okay. Shoes all ended up in the same spot this time. Deal with those in a moment. You're on a console delay. Very much a thing. Risby. Fancy shoes. Bras. Andrea is very tall, so I assume the bras have to go very high up. She get her to play this game and give her blind reaction. I'd laugh at some of the judgment calls the game makes on you. It's really funny to me. A yoga mat. Okay. New pajama pants. girl Andrea is six one I am five nine at least I don't have to worry about being replaced by a stepladder she has to worry about being replaced by a stepladder okay uh that's fine. Okay, I see what you want from me. Thank you, game, for letting me do that. All right, pretty much everything else is taken care of. Now I just have to sort stuff. I guess I don't start getting information about whether I've made it angry until... I've already unpacked everything. I should hang some of this stuff. Don't hang your pajama pants. That's a 
absurd. Skirts. I like the music in this game too. It's all around really good. I'm enjoying it. I really would not fold up a hoodie. I thought I had another skirt, that other skirt hanger. Possible I already put it away. That skirt. Yes. Huzzah. Jammas and bras on top. Room to put shoes in here. It's acceptable for shoes to go on the ground. Flats should go. It's very stupid. I'm curious if it'll let me have it or if it's going to get mad at me. The old D20. Our sock drawer. Can put those down. That's nice. Painful. I can put all of my binder books in the same, but then I'll be short one. I don't think I have anything else to fit in there. Put a little trash can down. Probably goes in there. The weights can go under the bed, as can the yoga mat. How mad you'll be. It's fair. Shoes go under the bed. I'm gonna put the shoes that I'm least likely to use, or most likely to be using all the time. Let's put the flats under the bed. Great, makes sense. Got a ton of room in here, right? Just on the floor. As far over as I can go. Oh, I can hang it up on there. That's nice. One by one. I don't have enough books to just. I guess I can move books from somewhere else later if I need to. Hat away. Frisbee. Probably put that there. It's probably okay. Gotta have the GBA games out and ready. Yeah, right. I would do this if I could be running an idle game or RuneScape at the same time. All right, excited for it to judge me here. That's definitely my favorite part of the game and I'm not kidding. All right. Toothbrush. 
probably put in the cup. Yeah, very good. Let's see if it yells at me for doing that. Generic goodie beauty bag. Good. Glad they let me hang that. Should get my sister to check this game out too. I think she'd find this very relaxing. We didn't have a shower caddy like this. Uh, my sister came out to visit. I had some like really bad COVID related like depression where I let the house get really messy and she came out to help me like get things back in order and set up a plan to stay on top of it. Um, and we didn't have a shower caddy. So just all of our shower stuff was just on the floor of the bathtub. And she was outraged. Like, how could you let it get this bad? So this can go under here, that's fine. Pads. Some Febreze. It's gonna yell at me, but I'm gonna deal with this for now. Hanging them, probably. Oh, look, there's already messy stuff in the dishwasher, or in the sink. This level doesn't seem to require you to put things between rooms as much. You've gotten better about not doing that. I don't know what that is. The fridge magnet? It's a little koala, that's cute. Come on, there you go. I really love their choices about which items make it in between your different moves. That's really cool. I think the choice to make a story out of this was smart. You could have just as easily just had you go to random places and unpack random stuff, but having it be the same person is great. Yeah, lots of storage space in the bathroom. Are you going to yell at me for putting the George Foreman on the counter? That's what I thought. Working adult now. Put the George Foreman on the counter. That can definitely... Oh, how dare you. Bastards. Monsters. Extra scotch brights clearly go under the sink. Stack these on the existing plates? Okay, good. Look how fancy they are. They've got a separate stack for their big plates and their tiny plates. Ooh. So bougie. Should they only keep two mugs? I guess that's fair. Okay. She didn't keep any of... For silverware. You don't need the extra silverware lying around. Thank you. Looks like that needs to go in the bathroom, right? Okay. Brought our own pesticide. That one in the bathroom last time. We don't have room for it this time, though. No, I was okay with that. You want the nail clipper in the drawer? Where are you going to put the... What, in here? Okay. <laughs> put the kitchen knife under the pillow. It is time to stop... 
fine. That can that can totally go up here. That's completely fine. What is it? A fire hazard? It probably is a fire hazard. Um, this can all go up here. You clearly go under the sink. Oh, can it? Looks like it. Nailed the bathroom, other than apparently the nail clipper is not acceptable to have that be in the, uh, the drawer. Yeah, okay. Fine. Right. Dining room is fine. Seriously? All right, very good. This is a really good game. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Taps head. Chaos factor, exactly. Big day. I'm ready for bed. Fellowship. Okay, so I feel like what we got to do now is we got to have you move in with somebody as like a partner and then uh, have to move out. I think that's good, good storytelling if we go that direction here. Find places to set everything here. Ukulele. Man, I had four Wii controllers for no reason. I certainly wasn't living with anybody. Off chance I might do multiplayer. It's an Xbox. Uh, Xbox 360 games. Just need to get everything cleared out so I get floor space to work with. that box art. Animal Crossing, Zelda. I'm bringing the GameCube. Metroid. Mario Kart. These sprites are honestly incredible. They're really good. I don't like putting them not on their side. Don't do that to me, game. Don't you dare. Can the Xbox controllers go on the X? Oh. Never played a video game in your life. Don't turn the TV, that's fine. I brought the GameCube. Significant Other has... Xbox. Oh, yeah, great.
Something up there is not in the right spot, I don't think. Books. Ah, oh, painful. Do I have one standing singleton? Just CDs. I don't have a hook to put my ukulele on. Got some random socks lying around. A little Zen garden, that's cute. fit as many of those as I wanted there. That's okay. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Can't stack that anywhere. A season of a show, it looks like. Ah, oh, it's again! They did it to me again! How could you, game? Is there more than one over there? I totally can. It's thin enough. Fancy glassware. It's awesome. I like how now I'm allowed to move the other person's stuff to some extent. That's cool. So I got stuff I gotta move to the bedroom. Leaning Tower of Cheesa. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like them to do, you gotta do like unpacking two Marie Kondo edition, right? Where you have to throw stuff out too. It's really good. GBA games. I never had an iPod. Uh, what was the, I'm assuming there's like a progression that you always have the most recent model or something. I refuse to own anything Apple related. I was still burning CDs for a while longer than I needed to. And then eventually I was able to just put it on my phone. When I started dating Andrea, it was really frustrating because I was spending like 95% of my time with her. And I was like, hey, can we just like move in together? 
she's my first girlfriend, so I had never had a romantic partner before my now wife. So I didn't realize how weird it is to ask to move in that early. But she suggested that I get a uh, an apartment a couple blocks away. So I got that apartment and it was terrible. And then she just spent 95% of her time over in my apartment. And she was within like two months, she was like, you just move in with me. I'm like, God damn it. To find somebody to sublet. That's nice flats. Yeah, I can I can understand that for other folks for sure. I really don't have a personal space thing. I, I don't I don't have stuff. I grew up in a hoarder household, so like my sister and I both have a strong aversion to like things. It helps that my main hobby being like video games means that um I actually don't need to take up a lot of space to do the things that I like to do, you know? for sure. I can understand how that you wouldn't know that about someone you ever started just started dating though, so. Yeah, that makes sense. Different rooms. I like that as an idea. I don't have room to put that anywhere, and I feel like that's by design. I like that I'm allowed to, like, lightly move my partner's stuff, presumably my partner's stuff. Weights go under the bed with the yoga... Yeah, I, uh, I'm bad about it. Like, I actively don't want, like, I hate physical gifts. I just don't want stuff. It makes me, I think, ungrateful when people do give me stuff that was very thoughtful. I have to, like, kind of force myself to pretend like I'm excited for it. It's most. It's mostly a trauma thing, right? It's... Growing up around too much stuff and, like, not wanting anything ever, which is also not reasonable. Pants are in the way, man. Bro. You've done this completely wrong. Next level storytelling is that the person breaks up with me because I move their pants over to this side. <laughs> uh... Can I not? Oh, because the the damn it! <laughs> then I can't place the bras. Ah, life is suffering. Where's all this shit gonna go? There's too much shit here. I don't have anywhere to put it. All right, uh, living room, I guess, for a book. And the book space is getting getting real real rough here. Ooh. 
Cutting that more close than I'd like. I really like the way the like the difficulty spikes in this game. That's a perfect place to have it in the bathroom. That's where it's gonna have to go, isn't it? Oh, I'd love that if that's literally the only wall that can support it. <laughs> that is uh that is storytelling right there. Okay, we'll see. Maybe there was somewhere else that I missed, but either way, that's fun. All right, so we got all these tchotchkes somewhere. Um, probably will access those in the evenings. Like an office, basically. Oh, interesting. Does someone have a computer? It's just to make the levels more simple, I assume. Let's see how that's going to work. Let me put the hat on the stuffed animal. trouble for doing this I think it's not where you put markers okay cool bamboo thingamajig I still have my George Foreman. Oh, those are some those are some cute measuring cup sets. I love, I love all the stuff you're implied to have picked up in between unpacking moments. This is such a like wonderful concept for a game. It's one of those concepts that almost kind of writes itself. But then they've also gone to the trouble of making it have excellent pixel art graphics. I have a laptop now, I see. I did the laptop thing around this era and didn't go back to a desktop for some time. I think my wife has this exact Walla magnet, like hug something you put it on. Okay. Nobody has a regular ass loofah, huh? Nobody has a bidet attachment. That's. It's like 1999, you just put it right under the seat right there. Come on, y'all. I guess nobody had one back then either. Change your life. Let's finish up in the kitchen, actually. Um, they lost the George Foreman, which is a little sad. Glad those can stack, that's nice of them. This is valid counter space. Maybe it's like right against the ceiling. Maybe it's not. spice rack or something I know right just be honest with yourself 
don't actually ever use that thing. Oh, there wasn't a nice room for the knife there. Yeah. Basically just throw shit into this drawer. Oh, is the drawer not going to close now? That's a nice touch. That there's like some friction when it closes. I like that. That's a nice touch. Definitely don't want to let me put shit in the, the oven. <laughs> Remember, uh, Serp came to visit and was laughing because we routinely store stuff in the microwave because it's the most efficient way to keep our cat, uh, Ben, from getting to it. He had this, like, stuffed animal that he was going to get for his girlfriend. And Ben kept trying to do sin biscuits to it. You monster, stack these, jeez. Ben kept trying to do sin biscuits to it, so we're like, let's put it in the microwave. I'll keep Ben away from it. I should just finish doing stuff so it can start yelling at me. I know this is a nightmare of a kitchen right now. Oven and a microwave is a California drawer. Warming drawer. I haven't heard of that one. Oh, if Ben figures out the microwave, we're fucked. Like, that's where everything, if, if like, Andrea's got leftover lunch that she's going to eat in a few hours... He's already figured out the pantry and the fridge. Got child locks and everything. Okay. Really? That's a perfectly reasonable. Oh. <laughs> I sound annoyed, but it's. I love that this game is judging me for some of my choices here. It's the funniest. It's very amusing. Fuck you. I guess they do stack nicely. If you tell me to put this laptop under the bed or something... Okay, good. Where do you expect the laptop to go? It's not going in a drawer. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, yeah, I've got pots and pans in there. I didn't realize that was the intended use for that. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna be using that at night, though, game. I don't care what you tell me. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Turlet. Bro. That shit can just go on the ground. Don't need a fancy shower caddy. That's moisturizer. That does not go in the shower. That was my bad. Took me a second to understand what it was. Just like cleaning supplies. Should this not be in the bathroom at all? Oh, okay. It's Febreze. Love how she went... The number of mugs she had has shrunken so much. So that's fantastic. What? Who Let me put the goddamn toaster on the counter. That's where the outlets are. Where do you, where do people put their toasters? Oh no, that's not okay. That's not okay. Can I use the magnets to oh, That's cute. Poster in a drawer. What the fuck? How how dare they? I go here. Okay. 
Yeah, you might as well just throw it out. Oh, there is a George Foreman grill. It was just in the bathroom. Okay. Ooh, this game makes me mad. Stop it. Get some help. I like how there was one stage in the game's life where it was acceptable to have the George Foreman grill on a counter. And now it's like, no, 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 no. You can't do that. We're not allowing that. This is the most inefficient use of drawer space I've ever seen. Okay. Where's my little beauty bag supposed to go? Can this go on the toilet? Okay, good. Yes, that's completely reasonable. Fine. It's also fine. You're okay. They're mad at me about this, but I don't know what else I'm going to do, so I'll have to check. supposed to do is one person's stuff supposed to be on one side and the other person's stuff supposed to be on the other side but i will accept not being able to do that i don't like having the bag up top that's yeah i like i like that theory that that's what they're going for your partner is not happy with it being there It would be really cool storytelling if it literally doesn't let me put this anywhere and I have to put it in the trash or I have to like put it under the bed. <laughs> that that's good. That's good. That's smart as hell. There's a lot of smart stuff in this game, but that's very smart. Actual true to life too. I think that's where Andrea's PhD is. Barely managed to fit myself in here. I wonder for how many players that exact experience happens in that order where it's the last item and you're forced to put it under the bed. Good shit. Okay. So yeah, I think I did move out because now I've got roommates again. Yeah, exactly. Very, very, very smart. Great game mechanic storytelling, big fan. I like that this game doesn't linger on anything either. It lets you, you know, interpret what's happening or not. I could put that up immediately. Uh, but it doesn't, there's not like a cutscene or something that tries to explain what's going on. You could just play the game and just kind of casually put stuff away and not think about if it's saying anything, right? Which I definitely prefer that form of art when you can get it. It can be hard to find sometimes. It's not the same room from before, though, right? Of the kind of like low quality uh, IKEA desk, too. I see. I'd have to go back and look at the first level again. Yeah, 
Okay, I guess there's stuff that I left behind, like the dreidel and the pocket Pikachu slash Tamagotchi. Oh yeah, and the poster. Okay. Rediscover childhood. Probably hungry. All right, I'm going to check the other stuff and I'll come back here. Is it just the bathroom and the bedroom now? I love how there's certain things that stick with you. Like, you always have the same brand of pads. You always have this little, like, medical bag. All right. Certain things that you change, though. My little mug! It's the same. Okay, cool. I guess I didn't spend enough time there. I was still trying to figure out what the game was and what it was about to really familiarize myself with the room. Okay. It's her stag beetle. I don't have my video games anymore. Just sad. Is this game anti-capitalist too? Just a lot of indie games are. <laughs> Hang those up here. I can't. Okay. A little bowl, got a neat little lava lamp. That seems like they're okay with that. I love this shitty IKEA desk. Like, that's perfect, especially if it's been converted into a sewing room. Without being on my bed, apparently. Oh, that's smart. So that has to go somewhere. I didn't even notice that flashing when I put it there. I noticed it on the fridge last time. It has to go somewhere where it's been put away, basically. That's clever. Can I even, like, do I have to, like, throw it out? I wonder. So I don't have to look at it. Okay. Good stuff. Probably gonna have a book on the desk? Question mark. Maybe not.
No life here. There's a regular ass Lufa. have their own bathrooms. The house is fucking huge. Three bedrooms, two baths. Is this just a shower? Shit. I don't know that I've like seen that. I like how you're kind of necessarily forced to deal with having more clutter now. There's less space to store stuff, but you have more stuff that you're connected to. It feels like... The mug is important. Where do they want us to put the mug? Interesting. So I can't go in the kitchen. Okay, there we go. Yeah, usually it's a shower bath combo. Sister and I used to fight over this bathroom. All right, let me go back. I think I took a picture of the first room. Yeah, I see. the window. I love that the, the text is very minimal too and still requires you to do some of your own interpretation. I assume there's an achievement for putting something under the bed, the pillow. Lats can go over here. The way out, don't I? Arm clock. you individually pack all of your little uh, candles? Still doing yoga. Skirt hangers. Some cute tops. That bag has made it pretty far, that's nice. I like the rainbow socks. It's cute. Hey, hell yeah. Now we've got, we got Marstead chic furniture. 
I have one of these literally right next to the stream office. It's got a bunch of hard drives and it's for all of my all of my uh, clothes are in one of these. All of my technology is in one of these. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a little triggered by all of the different hangers. Only ever bought black plastic hangers ever. In bulk. Oh, you could totally fit jeans in there, absolutely. Skirt. What are the tops that most need to be hung? It's a nice dress. I want that to go like over here though, right? Oh wait, is that not a like a canteen or something? I thought it was a sweater. Can't put these up anywhere, so they're gonna go in a bra drawer. So many socks. She has socks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How often does she do laundry? I had a hanger for every skirt, so that's nice. Oh, that's, yeah, that's pajamas. We don't, don't hang up pajamas. Not a monster. Running on two pairs of jeans. That's respectable. There's hangers for most of her shirts now, it looks like. I feel like you put the t-shirts on the shitty hangers in the back. It's fine. Pajamas, two sets of pajamas. Okay, good. I'm glad they let you do that. I need to unpack out elsewhere and come back here to see what it's mad at me about. I don't think Andrea, I've ever seen her wear matching socks. Yo, yo, towels go on this. I'm sorry. on the like the bar here depends where you put them i love the variety of the rooms they have you put stuff in in this different amounts of counter space and drawer space it's cool oh, i like that trash can
Taking vitamin D, huh? Not getting a lot of sunlight anymore. Okay, good. You hang that from the shower head. This probably doesn't need to be in here. Pads. Should be fine. Listerine. We had this one last place. Probably goes over here, actually. Love her cute little mug. You start with like a ton of mugs. It's great. Good shit. I'm gonna shower a caddy if you get one of these like wall recesses. Get a medicine cabinet now. Band-aids go in the medicine cabinet. We'll see if it yells at me for that, it might. I say tweezers and uh, Nail clippers go in the medicine cabinet. That's completely fine, I think. I have a kitchen in this one. Really? Wow, that's unfortunate. This game is really good. Like, I will probably give this a uh, 10 out of 10 on how long to beat. I feel like the effort is part of what makes it, like, so impressive. Coasters. Your one roll of Kirkland Saran Wrap that you've been using for years. How many coasters does she have? Yeah, great sound effects. The art is really fantastic. This is some of the best uh, pixel art I've seen. Glad she keeps the cute little koala. Three. Wonder how they did the sound design. I wonder if it's just like actual in-home fully. Like all these objects have actual sounds that they make if you have them in your home. But there's no like echo on any of them. You get different sounds depending on what surface you put them on. That's crazy. That's so much attention to detail. It's like five distinct sounds for putting a knife on top of a uh, stove. It's interesting. Why do we have those? Oh, there's a baby in the picture. Okay.
thought it was just three friends for a second. Glad I am doing this with a mouse. Probably do it with a controller, but it would be very slow. Menorah. Had yeah, the dreidel at the beginning. All right, I'm just gonna unpack everything and then I'll make decisions based on what's red. There's been a lot to like about this game, but the the apartment with the partner where you can't find somewhere to put your diploma, that's it's a very chef's kiss. And I like that the game is like tactical about deploying those. At least it seems to be, right? There might be some that I've missed because I already put the thing away from where it would tell a story by telling me it's not allowed to go there, right? But like having to put away the picture of you and your ex is a really smart one. And the game is willing to just let you miss those interactions. Like if you just automatically see that and put it inside a drawer, you won't know that there was story there, right? And it's okay with that. Oh, I like those. It's like teapots. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, that's exactly the way you pack them, too. A wireless router. Appreciate this this game's length too. I feel like they probably could have done like three levels and called it a game and moved on. It's a cute looking creature. That's pretty awesome. Riding a stag beetle. Still have a box that I haven't. Oh shit. What room I haven't been in. GameCube's back. Oh, we got Wii. Okay, yeah. The Wii Sports still have GameCube. Definitely playing on a lag, which I appreciate. Thank God. I was getting nervous for a second there. How many Wiimotes do we have? Music lessons, that's cute. Metroid. When do all the DVDs go away? 
I'm very lucky I didn't like invest in DVDs. Uh, my friend Kat used to have a really impressive, robust like wall of hundreds of DVDs. It was kind of the thing that they were just kind of into into doing, displaying all the movies they liked. Oh, 3DS, nice. It's a good console. More GameCube. Okay. So what the hell is that for a second? Interesting. Kane is interesting. Okie doke. Pretty legit. Bean bags only. These like little chicks been increasing over time, collecting new ones each time. They've at least been consistent. Glad they allow that. I don't recognize. Is it a hang on something, maybe? Oh, okay. I recognize almost everything in this game, and I don't know what that is. All right, I really want this to go in the bedroom. against the evil eye. It's just not going to close if I do that, is it? It's nice that all these items have a set number of legal locations that they can be placed, and there's a lot of variety to what counts as legal. It's like a, um, you're supposed to like heat it or something. Oh, hot water, okay. It's like therapeutic. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, 
Okay. I'm never like immediately interested in doing the kitchen. It's like the worst place. Okay. You bitch at me one more time about having the toaster out. I swear to God. I cut things are already wrong once you get in here. That's clever. That's where our microwave is. It's like built into the wall at about that height. Um, really? It's okay if I have to go under the sink. I guess that's fine. I shouldn't go with the food. So used to putting this below the oven, but there's no room to do that. Okay, it'll let me. Parchment paper, rolling pin. Measuring spoons. You guys want the mugs to go here. Two kinds of spoons. Too rich for my blood. just recently got an electric kettle used to uh, heat water in the microwave which I understand makes British people scream in horror good Andrew drinks a lot of tea now as well. It's weird, right? Because, like, why should it matter? Like, hot water is hot water is hot water. I actually had never encountered an electric kettle until we visited uh, Japan. And I was like, oh, this is kind of neat. I wonder how much this is. Oh, it's, like, dirt cheap. We should probably have one. Need to go in the bathroom. I like how you get better at this, but you're still not perfect at it. this really quick and just see if it can even go on the counter. Oh. Where do you want the towel to go, game? 
Looks like it's like a washcloth, right? I love that it's like it can go there, but it, the drawer is just unacceptable. Why would you even think something like that, you fool? Oh, there is. Didn't even see it. Thank you. like an incense burner or like a, uh, a kettle or something. Huzzah! Thirteen, making this my art space. So do you get different text based on what screen you finish on? All right, 2013. 15. Oh, interesting. Do we have to pack now? Oh, it's still unpacking. Oh, interesting. I have a lady friend now. What does this shirt say? Anti hero. Our nice boots. Got double the plastic tubs. I like that this seems to remember some of the things you placed here last level. It's cool. Got some succulents. I love how they've managed to like kind of establish your character's style and like you get new clothes as you go from room move to move but it's wild how some of these clothes are just completely different from anything you've worn up to this point right like you've never had is this like a crop top nothing that would bury your midriff haven't really had sandals so far definitely haven't had those cool boots She's finding herself, that's nice. Let's 
Second loofah. This is so cool because I just love that there's just certain household items that I've never seen the protagonist have or the main character have or me have, right? That uh, special lady has. It's nice. And that was an eyelash curler. the sticky notes oh I see jaws that's cute Clear narwhals. Which also seems to like plants, which is neat. Which I like aren't packed, which makes sense. Anti Hero Season 2. Robert Gable, I hope you'll find this amusing, but I wonder to what extent your presence for a game spoils that it's heartwarming and extremely gay. <laughs> I was starting to suspect something earlier with the first partner. Fair. <laughs> Indie game. <laughs> I feel like video games are a really great space to like make queer art. I heard a joke on a podcast I listened to that was like, in the bad ending, you become a Nazi. In a good ending, you become transgender. This room didn't have anything for me to unpack, huh? This is just exactly as I left it, but I can come back to it. That's cool. Cool boots. It bothered to have a left and right shoe for all of these. Hell yeah. I need to get one of those. I really like them. Cute little stuffed shark. Where's the best place for the boots to go?
That'll do. Really cool boots. All right, so she gets her own bra tub. I also really, really like the storytelling that like when we moved in with the first partner, couldn't touch basically any of their stuff. Here I have free reign to put everything away, just trusted to deal with this, right? That's really cool to me. Lots of really good storytelling stuff in this, I think, like that. And subtle, too, right? Like, I think it's great that you could play this whole game and not interface with the story at all. You could just kind of like, oh, just put stuff away. It's a, it's a smart, artistic risk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this game is extremely cute, and it's also like really good like <laughs> i feel like this game is uh more like artistically resonant than a lot of the like major triple a games i've played and it's it's like so simple it makes me sad to hear there's so many like cheap mobile knockoffs because this is anything but cheap or low effort she suddenly have all these plants Probably acceptable on worse things. Incense. I guess that makes sense. It has to go out. Go next to the other bag. Where are headphones allowed to go? Probably put these in the living room. Andrea plays this, I might ask her to record it. Is that a backpack or is it like newer? Oh, it's for plants. Okay. So I know nothing about plants. Big dum dum. We share the office. Explains why this was so forgiving before. It's a great Miles O'Brien line. I wonder how forgiving they are on average with the plants. Yeah, the little like kitchen things like the mortar and pestle. Is it pestle or pestle? I've heard it pronounced both ways. Drying rack for the dishes, I think, is what that is. I've never had one of those, but I've seen them in other people's houses. Making bautza. Delicious. Put that on top of the... Okay, good.
Oh, that's cute. You can put those on the windows. I always said mortar and pestle, like pestle. But then I heard a content creator say mortar and pestle uh, because that's a thing in RuneScape. And I was like, oh God, have I been saying it wrong this whole time? Some sauces that cannot go on the table. I guess they're sauces you don't often access. Putting the cups behind those rare sauces is a bold move, but the game seems to be allowing it, so. She happen to have the same. Mortar and pestle. Thank you for letting me just put that on there. Wasn't thinking they were gonna let me get away with that. Nice. Yeah, I'm totally in love with like your new partner just being like, yeah, I trust you. Go ahead and put stuff away. Oh, you can use that as a little as a little toothbrush cup. Aw. It's nice. This game is sweet. Eyelash curler. Exactly. Zero out of ten. Perfect. She'll really be able to use her keyboard and computer now. Don't be sad now, game. I have a kid next. Love. Aw. November 2015. So we both have boxes. I feel like the obvious next step is to go sad with it, but... <laughs> the really mean thing to do would be to go to do it like an up. It's like the objective of art is to make you feel things. I think you do get a new one every time, huh? That's great. We've got both of our stuff still. There is a baby crib, so that's that. They have yeah, those two yoga mats. So there was only one yoga mat before, right? So that, does that imply that she got her girlfriend to do yoga? 
I didn't realize you could turn those on. That's kind of cool. It's cute. A cute little chest. We have, we finally have the adult dream of uniform hangers. I don't know what's better, if they're truly uniform or if there's exactly one hanger that's wrong. Oh, hey, one of those uh, cookie tins that everyone has sewing stuff in. Okay, I'm kind of hoping for one infuriating hanger that's the wrong style of hanger, but I'm also okay if they don't have that. Either would be satisfying. Oh, that's a cute bag. I like that. Pajamas. I like getting floor space. That's usually my objective when I'm actually unpacking. Reclaim floor space to throw shit on. Oh, I probably need to do the to do these up top, don't I? So they don't take up more space. Okay, hold on. Andrea just has her skirts willy-nilly dangling down into the clothes below. Okay, actually I'm pretty limited from doing that. Maybe I just have more of these and I can work with question mark or does it depend on the height of the oh wow okay short skirts versus long skirts got it that's tricky 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 let's get the rest of this crap out of here Screwing over future Marstead by putting stuff on top of that box. I just want to get to the space underneath this one. Okay. Short stuff up here is all we care about. And our stuff is all going to be completely mixed together. Rainbow socks. Like how you just get like the one pair of rainbow socks shows up. Like, oh, those are cute. Hotel safe. 
All right, here we go. Socks. How many socks we got between us here? To justify two full drawers worth. It looks like we did not get any rogue hangers. Like you get like a bridesmaid's dress or something and it comes with a hanger and you, you're not gonna throw out the perfectly good hanger, right? Even though it doesn't match anything. Okay, that's all I got for that for now. Bras. Sports bra. This is a really nice closet. Exercise pants. Okay. I'll do the rest of this later. I got it mostly cleaned up for now, though. I'm gonna get my little mug back. This is an extremely cathartic game. Yeah, right. We have like four or five coat hangers that are wrong that I should get rid of. But Andrea has enough clothes that if I did get rid of them, we would be in trouble in terms of not having enough hangers. There's a nail clipper. Yeah, the power fantasy. What the fuck is this? I've never seen one of these before. Wow. Bougie. Fancy. I'm sure that costs like $7 and you can buy it at any grocery store, but still. So laundry hamper. This uh, toilet paper holder thing. I like that they let you put it at the floor of the toilet. Like I said, my sister was outraged. What, uh, is this game on consoles? What platforms is it on? Oh, hey, Tums. So I kind of want to buy it for my sister. I think this game would be up her alley. Deal with that later. Is 
It is on Switch. Okay, cool. You know if the Switch version has uh, touchscreen controls by any chance? Let me get that umbrella thing. There it is. I've ever had an umbrella caddy before. room did itself the Donnie Darko Rockback Mountain I think3DS, 3DS games. I was hoping those would go vertically in there, I guess not. Still got some GameCube games, that's nice. Nuclear narwhals. I love how the evil X had an Xbox. <laughs> X wasn't evil. Are these supposed to like make a little? Shin Godzilla is at the one on the top. It's cool. Now the cane is still pretty interesting. Posters. Always tell the Game Boy Advance games. Held on to Animal Crossing and Metroid. And there's is Wii Sports their only Wii game? Because I think that was true before. It's amusing if so. Recognize that. It looks like a lion. I think it's Wii though. Based on the box on the top of it there. That one is also hard to see. Oh, 
Tommy is an interesting theory. Oh yeah, the sun at the top. I guess they made it a lion, so it's not obvious what it is. Sure. we got here nice jaws all right just want to unpack everything and then we'll come back to it I kept thinking there's no way this game is four hours long and then it like keeps proving that why it should be longer. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like it's four hours long at all. Oh. Cute. So many more pictures now. This is honestly some of the best pixel art I've ever seen in any game. Like, I know it's going for a specific, like, realistic aesthetic, but it, it's gorgeous. It's... Especially with the objective of having to, like, recreate so many specific real-world objects. I think the only thing in the entire game that looks kind of weird are these throw pillows and this comforter. Just because they look kind of 3D and almost nothing else does. matching plate sets and stuff. I need to create more space here. Egg timer. A whisk. Oh, that's a nice little, like, spice thingy. extra pan, damn. Yeah, that is a cool category concept. I completely agree. I really am pretty blown away by this game. It's like way better than it needed to be. It probably could have been like, I don't know, a 10th of the effort and still sold just fine, which I think is proven out by there being a bunch of mobile knockoffs. Matching plates now. It's a 
so many rooms now. Oh, floor selector. Not even shows that you have a garage. It's like we live in a world where like you kind of need to accrue things and that's not great. But given that we are in that world, what do the things that you accrue say about you? All right, I'm gonna have a mess for myself once everything's out of the boxes. I'm just gonna leave the rooms behind. Definitely a power fantasy to be able to own a home. Shelves are nice. A little baby book. Oh. I think part of what I really like about this game is that it's this, it, this like needs to be a video game, right? This couldn't. You, I guess you could do like an artsy short film or something like this. But I think it's art that is uniquely suited to the genre. I know those are placemats for the table. I just have, don't have anywhere else to put them at the moment. Oh, I can stack them. Oh, that's nice. Fucking toasters in this game, man. Baskets, important file organizer. Fix that later. I know it's kind of a mess right now. And now rotate the other way. Okay. Hub of wires, perfect. So yeah, it's like a final boss house to load your shit into. Oh, I finally have a little thing for my uh, ukulele. Oh, that's what that was the whole time. Interesting. It was so small, I didn't recognize what it was before. Stand. There must be a bigger guitar here somewhere then, right? 
why do I have multiple copies of that one book? Is someone an author, maybe? Children's book author? That's cute, if that's what they're going for. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's like the uh, having nowhere to put your diploma and having to put it under the bed thing. That's good. I like it. Better tablet. Nice PC. Okay. Old baby bathroom, it looks like. Oh, really? I didn't realize that's what it was. I know what a guitar stand looks like, but the I guess it had like a music note on it that probably should have given it away. as many choking hazards in the baby's bed as possible. Oh, a cute little crab! Little crab baby book. That's adorable. Alright, so this level is building a metric fucking shitload of dread. Um, you don't get the baby. Something happens to the baby. Break up over it. I'm completely fine if this game doesn't end up doing a kind of like sad twist at the end. I'm also would be delighted if it did because I think this game is excelling at having emotional resonance. Baby hats. All right. Wow, you're really okay with me throwing all this garbage in the crib? Whatever you say, game. Plant's got to go somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. A quarter the size. You lose your house. That's a closet.
Ducky. You're the one. That's one where I needed the sound effect to understand what that was. Amazing. That's so high effort. I love it. Alright, so we gotta go to the kitchen. Which is a mess at the moment. That's forgiving of you, game. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. Alright, so this room's okay. Just warns you about the ones that you that are problematic. All right. So, hanging more stuff. Anything that's tall, short stuff has to go on top. I definitely like games like this where I start to feel this like sense of impending doom. <laughs> I don't know if I got that short. She really likes to have a bare midriff. shirt Probably have something down here. That t shirt probably doesn't have to be on a hanger on the bottom there. Isn't this one the fancy one? Yeah, okay. Nice. Got the classic sewing cookie tin. I knew I was missing some socks. I thought I had just enough socks and bras for two full drawers. Nice. you still very frequently get these mixed up. Biggest fan of the children's book author thing. That's so cool. Got a
carpal tunnel, it looks like. Really? Okay. So they want me to have the monitor be all the way over here. Doesn't actually require it, so I'm going to deal with it. It's a board game or a card game. Room's acceptable now, I think. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to like having to significantly downside, but still having a comparable amount of stuff. May have been dooming myself when I mentioned the sequel is the Marie Kondo game. Or you have to throw stuff out. Walkie talkies are cute. I like that there's a lot of things that just are like, why would they have two walkie talkies and why in the bedroom? And they don't need to explain it if you just kind of get the sense that it's something important to them, right? I like that kind of thing. Everything goes under the bed. Nothing is invalid to be under the bed. It has to be on top. have those be as far away from each other as possible. It's completely fucking pointless. Headphones, I guess I'll put in the office. Okay, cute. So I guess it's like every object in the game has a list of surfaces that it's permissible to place them on, I guess. Do you like the books that are almost certainly the D and D core manuals? That's cool. What if I recognize what that is? To be honest, is it a scanner or something? Okay, that was acceptable. a framed concert ticket it looks like i feel like you can't come up with something like this completely out of whole cloth right like i have to assume that some of this is just stuff that the creators actually have in their house <laughs> laptop dock you think i don't think i've ever had a laptop dock maybe uh, kitchen. Uh, let's do the kitchen. I hate the kitchen. It's a joke of a room. It's a fake room. This is the laziest thing I can possibly do with these. Here we go. The worst, objectively the worst room. Yeah. God, okay. 
Um, I'm kind of infuriated by the fact that you can't like rotate the pot handle so that you get more space out of it. Like, ah, uh -uh, we're not gonna give that one to you, motherfucker. Can you at least stack? Oh my god. I've never been in a kitchen before in their lives. Good. This is what I'm actually avoiding doing at home right now. It's not this bad. I don't have stuff lying all over the ground, but... Check the tiny plates on the big plates. It's fine. If you need the big plates, you just lift them up temporarily, and then you accidentally drop the small plates and they shatter everywhere and you have to get new plates. It's fine. Yeah, I hear ya. I need my sister to come out to snap me out of it. Very strong why bother attitude about that kind of a thing for a while. Grr. At least I can put shit up there. I will never get it. It's too far away. Try to get all the little things taken care of here. I don't like this thing down here either. These with the uh, menorah, which was in the dining room. Okay. My ability to clean and be productive, I'm I have a much easier time doing it if I have like something I can be doing at the same time if it's listening to a podcast or doing something very AFK in RuneScape where I can like walk away literally walk away from the game there is a direct correlation with like how clean my house is and how much access to AFK content I have in RuneScape it's pretty funny um never seen something like this in a kitchen. I guess it's technically a lot of like surface area, but it just my brain isn't acknowledging that it's there and available to me to place things. Where do you want the parchment paper? You want it in one of the drawers? There you go. It's in a drawer now. Trash bags. It has to go by the fridge, right? Okay. What 
What's this? I don't think I recognize this. Rice cooker. Okay. Never had one. Really helps you to realize how much like shit you have, right? Where do you want me to put the paper towels game? Okay. Fine with that. I'm happy to hear it. I'm not going to have room to place this, I don't think. Handful of things that can fit under the sink, like directly under the sink. Can opener. Yeah, right. Hooray! We're already planning the dinner parties. All right, so what horrible thing is going to happen now? That's nice. Nothing horrible happened. Oh, nice. Thanks, game. Oh, it was music. It's cute. That gave me a free song. That was nice. And it's just, it's happy. It doesn't have to be miserable. Yeah, it's special. I like it. I like that about the final level. So you just unpack everything. Man, that's seriously like 
don't want to call it a uh, recency bias. One of the best games I've ever played. Like, it's like three hours long. It's incredible. It does a really great job of conveying what it's about purely through game mechanics. Minimal amount of text. You figure all of it out as you go. I even wonder to what extent if choosing to not have another level after that to bring it down was a deliberate artistic choice that like you have the parts earlier that make you think oh things can go bad right because like that's that's part of that final stage at the very end of the game where you're like is this gonna last like well, we're gonna stop there we're gonna play the credits we'll leave it to you like it can be happy now that's okay doesn't matter if it might be ephemeral right now it's just nice uh excellent excellent absolutely excellent game uh i love this i'm gonna try to get my wife to play it i can't say too much because she just walked in the kitchen i don't want to spoil it for her so Thank you very much for sharing this. Love.